Uh, just one day after losing his father, Carl Tom Izzo, coaching Michigan State and leading the Spartans into Iowa City. Top-ranked, unbeaten MSU, classy move by the Hawkeye faithful, honoring Carl Izzo's life with a moment of silence pregame. Early in the game, Spartans down by three, Deontay Davis giving Michigan State a lift. Spartans would get within one, but I'm going to ruin the drama here. They would never lead. Iowa had the lead for over 39 minutes in this game, thanks in large part to the play of Nicholas Bear. The walk-on trying to earn a scholarship in a three-game stretch, knocks down the three-pointer there, and then check it out. Last guy in the backcourt hustling all the way down to block Matt McQuaid's three-point attempt, and then getting the loose change and throwing down. Bear would finish in double digits, double digits for the third straight game with 11. Iowa up by 12, under 10 to go in the half. Peter Jock off the screen. Iowa up 37-23 at the break. Early second half. Hawkeyes still up by 11. Off the inbounds. This is the way the night went for Michigan State. Alvin Ellis, the tip. Own goal. Soccer term. Hawkeyes lead by 13. Just wasn't the Spartans' night. It was, however, a career night for Mike Gazelle. All the right places and all the right times. Career high 25. That three-point play putting the Hawks up by 15. And then off the Jared Utah miss, it's Bear, the rebound, easy jumper. Hawkeye's starting to pull away. And then Jock would swing for back-to-back -back triples. So versatile, moving it inside, outside. One of the important pieces to this Hawkeye puzzle, a puzzle that puzzled Michigan State all night long. Iowa goes up by 19. They would go on to win this one by 13. 83 to 70, and you know it. Anytime you beat a number one team, when it's the first time such an event has happened since 1999's victory over UConn, you are going to have a court storm. Fairly mild, but still well.